and we are in Psalm 119 lines 169 to 176 which is tall or tav or taf t-a-u for our 22nd letter of the Hebrew alphabet and so our last stanza of Psalm 119 Wow praise God and so according to ancienthebrew.org uh, it means uh, tall means uh, mark sign or signal or monument and so the word picture is crossed sticks cross sticks uh, or used for like a mark or used for like sig signature or signing and so let's read the stanza in context and we, then we'll begin to elaborate let my cry come before you O lord give me understanding according to your word let my supplication come before you deliver me according to your word my lips shall utter praise for you teach me your statutes my tongue shall speak of your word for all your commandments are righteousness let your hand become my help for i have chosen your precepts I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. So, let's go ahead and elaborate, starting at line 169. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. And so here it is. This is a uh, this has six words of the Lord in it. And so now uh, he's going to be going. We're going to be going back to some cross reference scriptures in Psalm 119, and we have one outside of uh, 119 for reference scripture. So it says, "Let my cry come before you, O Lord." Give me understanding according to your word. All right. And so whatever God says is his word. And he's asking for understanding of that. And that sends us to Psalm 119, 27. That says, make me understand the way of your precepts. So shall I meditate on your wondrous works. And so make me understand the way of your responsibilities that we have toward you, God. Um, so shall I meditate on your wondrous works. And so here it is. And once it's not, let me cry. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your words. And I just corroborate um, that understanding. And also let's look at uh, line 144 uh, that we covered um, when we did with Tassadi. All right, so the righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding and I should live. And so as long as God has given us that under, his understanding, then we're, we're going to live. And, um, and, and of course, when we understand God's word, we can't have none but to live because God's word is going to instruct us uh, while we in on this earth. 170 let my supplication come before you deliver me according to your word so let my request come before you father god deliver me according to your word so if the request is coming before you i'm 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 bringing my request to you father god and deliver me according to your word so take me out uh whatever you know that i'm in deliver me according to your word because God's word is not going to fail. It's going to go out and it's going to accomplish. It's not going to go out. It's going to go out and not return void. It's going to accomplish what it set out to do. Uh, 171, my lips shall utter praise for you teach me your statutes. So my lips shall utter praise for you teach me your statutes. Can't have not, do nothing but to praise God. Um, when God has taught us uh, his statutes, his customs. And so that sends us to Psalm 119, line 7. That says, I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. 
So I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. And once we learn God's righteous judgments, we can't help but to praise God with an uprightness heart. Can't help but to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and pause here, and then we'll pick it up uh, in the next stanza.